Hi, and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Ivan, and on this channel I started breeding a group of guppies with a singular goal to fix a solid white color trait. I am challenging myself to start with only one male with this characteristic and crossbreeding him with four unrelated females lacking any white color. In the previous video, I introduced these original fish and the results from our first crossbreeding with female one. I learned that female one was homozygous for the dominant gray body color because 100% of her offspring were gray when crossbred to the blonde based male, who is homozygous recessive for the blonde trait. In this video, I will go over the results from my crossbreeding with female two. Female two has blue color in the tail and dorsal fin like female one. However, female two lacks the amount of black in her peduncle that female one has. I think this characteristic is called half black, which is obvious in female four. But I will dive deeper into this trait in a future video. For now, I will genetically focus on just the base body color because it is easiest to understand. It seems that in order to have a solid white color, multiple genes are involved, like magenta and metallicus, for instance, but I don't fully understand them yet. So I know that female two is gray based, but again, like with female one, I don't know if she is homozygous or heterozygous for this trait. I will only know after I see her first offspring with the white male. But sadly, her first brood of 26 fry developed crooked spines or slid along the bottom of the tank. I don't fully attribute this to poor genetics, but rather to a stressed birth. 100% of her offspring were gray based, telling me that female two was homozygous for this trait, making her offspring heterozygous gray carrying the recessive allele for blonde based body color that they inherited from their father. All right, so of the remaining healthy offspring, four were male, five were female. So let's dive into the males real quick. The males had red tails just like their half brothers in cross number one. These current males, however, all have a lighter, almost metallic body color. Additionally, they have black patches on their pectoral fins, which my wife actually really enjoys, and they're, I think, called small dumble ears. Turning our attention to the females, they are also very similar to their half-sisters in cross number one. But their biggest difference is the reduction of red pigments and they have more blue iridescence in the tail and dorsal fins. One of the females in this bunch actually has a larger tail compared to the rest of her sisters. It resembles more of a delta tail type. I actually plan on selecting her to back cross to the male, and it will be interesting to see how this tail type plays out with their offspring. It will also be interesting if any of the offspring start expressing the white phenotype of their father, considering the males of this cross already have some visible light metallic colors. But I will save this for another video. I have two females remaining of my original four. I will discuss the results of crossbreeding female three with the white male in the next video. Keep an eye out for that one. This will be the first crossbreeding involving two blonde-based guppies, and the results are actually quite interesting, so stick around.